Good day, ladies and gents. We have another Bentley Tanta to collection. It's one of these uh, Kyosho Crystal Box ones. So I'm actually not expecting the greatest considering how much these things go for. I took it out of the box because I needed to try to pull up the f correct photos. You know, try to match the model to the photos. Uh, some brown staining in there. I don't know if this was used. It was wrapped in plastic, but... Uh, yeah, so there's not much to say. It doesn't say, like, what year, does it? No, it's definitely licensed, but it doesn't say what year they're going for or what year this model was made. There's nothing about the year there. Yeah, so it's kind of weird, you know, making collectible items with no date on them. It just seems odd to me. Also, this crystal box has a massive scratch in it, so... I guess this must have been part of someone's personal collection. Maybe it was moved around, moving houses or something, but... Okay, let's get this off the base here. So... A little bit of research. Uh, the Flying Spur, this is the second generation that I deciphered. Oh, one other thing that's nice about the stand on this, these newer crystal boxes. Is you see the tires? They're not squished. Uh, the spacing, there's this, you know, the black the black thing has a spacer, so the, the tires don't seem to get crushed, so it's pretty well thought out. It does have the color on the base here, but again, it's just weird. Why wouldn't it say, like, what year Flying Spur this is? Because I know there's three generations now. So, I would have assumed that Kyosha was going to do the first generation, but after I looked at the model in the crystal box, I realized this is the second generation, which was around uh, 2013 and 20 to 2019. It's uh, actually the four-door variant of the Continental GT Coupe. I never knew that. You know, I wouldn't expect that, but I guess they lengthened out the, the platform and made it work. So, yeah, looking at this, the wheels, you know, they match. And uh, the front end there, it's kind of hard on the black one. I couldn't find an image of a light Bentley with these wheels on it, but uh, suffice to say, I think Kyosho did a pretty good job. I mean, it looks pretty similar, right? Okay. Alright, so, I, I guess there's uh, two different engines available for these things. There's a W12, you know, which is uh, shared with the Volkswagens and uh, six liters it's twin turbocharged making over 600 horsepower and that thing will make this thing go 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds which is pretty crazy and the thing will top out at 200 miles per hour so I guess in a big vehicle like this it might actually feel pretty nice to be going 200 miles per hour in something this big I think this thing weighs uh, 5500 pounds or 2.75 tons so if you think about that you know, this thing's pretty fast for something so big, for a land barge. Uh, they sold for like over $200,000, and uh, I'm sure they topped out much higher than that with all the options. The other engine choice was a 4-liter uh, V8 twin turbo making uh, around 500 horsepower, so that's still pretty powerful. And uh, as one would expect from a rolling house, this would have ad adaptive air suspension and continuous damping and all sorts of, you know, gizmos and stuff to make it feel like a house. And this was styled by a gentleman, Luke Donkerwolk. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that all right. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Okay. All right, so, yeah, looking at the wheels again, it, it's just begging to have the Bentley logo there. And it's not, so that's a shame. The wheels are hollow though, you know, they're molded nicely. The tires look okay, they're not slab sided, there's a little curvature there. And then uh, this two tone paint is really nice. I mean, we got a pretty big flake though on this, uh, I, I would say it's a metallic tan. I don't think it's gold, it's, it's more still in the brown scale. I'm not seeing yellow in it much. Bronze, tan, I would say metallic tan. And then the middle section is definitely like a light, mm, it's not silver, I guess champagne might be the, the color I'm looking for. Of course on your screen, I don't know what it's going to come out looking like. Everyone's got different color resolutions on their monitors or mobiles. Okay, 
Well, we got some uh, nice molded in details here. Uh, some sort of weird accent there. I don't know if it's a real vent or not. Maybe it's real, but... And then the door handles, they are protruding. You can see, and yet there's still recesses there for the fingers. Or they're flush. Maybe they're just flush. Let's try to get a... Maybe it's the shadow that makes it look like there's a recess for the fingers. Well, either way, it looks pretty good. The character lines here are nicely done. It fades out here. This one comes here and fades out there. Uh, the panel gaps are pretty nice. They're not super wide. Okay. So the windows, you know, they have, they're molded, but they have nice paint details for the molding. This silver here is supposed to be chrome, and then some black there. The mirrors also have a little paint on them. That's that little, uh, you know, blinker in the mirror. But there's no reflectivity in the mirror, which is a real shame. Okay, let's go to the back here. The taillights look pretty nice. You know, thick plastic. Yeah. On the real car, there's a little silver trim. Oh yeah, it is there. Kyosha did paint a little silver line around here. I didn't see it at first because it's, you know, I'm close and it's metallic. Okay, a little silver trim around the the exhaust tips too, and that's nice. So there's a little dimensionality as well. The pick does go in a little bit, so that's pretty good. And then there's some sort of diffuser here with depth above it, so that's good. Is there a... no, there's no texture, but there's actually two little ribs, so that's good. Wait a second, is there air passing between that? No, no, it's blanked off. I thought for a second that there was air there. Okay, whoa. So yeah, this must be someone's personal collection and they lived next to the ocean because those are the rustiest screwed screws I've ever seen. That's, that's really weird. Hmm, okay. Uh, wow, there's a lot of resistance in here. I bet the axle, yep, the axle's rusted. I'm gonna have to take this apart and clean this rust off. But that is the beauty of these later Kyoshos, you know, since it is screwed together, I can clean all this up. But yeah, as it is, this it's not rolling because it's literally rusted. That's funny. It's like a real car. Alright, well, the treads are kind of weak on this one. I feel like they're really muted, like the, the mold is worn out. This one's not so bad, but these are really soft tread blocks. Strange from a Kyosho. Usually they're really good with their tires. Pretty plain bottom, but I'm sure a modern vehicle like this would have that for aerodynamics. Okay, so back to the... <clears throat> here, we got the Bentley logo. And yeah, that's the bees looking legible. But there's nothing else. Uh, I don't know, I'm looking at the real photo. There's nothing else on the back of this thing. There's nothing saying flying spur. I guess uh, people are just supposed to know. It's a Bentley, and it's expensive. So, okay. Alright, this side we got the fuel fill filler door there in the back. Uh, pleasantly, no defects on this side that you can't see through the front side, so that's good. And then we got the front, we got the four plastic lights. But you really can't see any sort of detail back there. It's a strange thing they do, Kyosho, on all their Bentleys. They have really thick headlights with no indication of light bulbs or LEDs back there. Okay, the grill here, it's a separate piece of plastic and it's painted silver, very nice. Nice grill texture. Same here, nice grill texture. And then, uh, yeah, the Bentley logo there on top of the grill looks pretty good. Alright, so now let's try to get... I know the interior is just going to be detailed, but uh, just not visible without the flashlight, so let's get this thing out. Okay, so we got a steering wheel, a big center console. I feel like this thing's too bright. There we go. Okay, back seats, a little ribbing. A little seatbelt buckle there in the back. Hmm. Some sort of a you know shifter for the uh, automatic transmission. Okay, yeah, 
just molded details as usual, but never any extra color. Which again, kind of uh, irks me, because this was a Crystal Case Kyosho, but it seems like all the Crystal Case Kyoshos that come in these boxes, this black and red lined box, they very often don't have any extra details over a blister pack. This is, this looks like a blister pack Kyosho. This, you basically are paying like twice the money just to have a crystal box it seems. Because really there should be silver paint there. Maybe some additional color on the interior. But uh, Kyosho skimped out again so I gotta warn you guys. There's really no features on this model over a blister pack. So that's, that's unfortunate. Kyosho, you're, you're cheaping out, man. It's not cool. Okay, so I'm noticing in the back tire here, like why is this tire or this whole wheel so close to the, the fender here, but there's a big gap there. The front sp seems spaced a little better, although that tire's a little messed up. But on this side, again, look at that. It's so close to the front. The front wheel's a little better. Okay, well, that's an easy fix because it's screwed together. I'm going to screw it together and unscrew it, I mean, and uh, just drill out the hole a little bit backwards. So I'll, I'll change that on my own. So that is a... I'm very happy at least that the base is screwed together. Well, I've got a spin in here with the Continental GT that it's based off of. And uh, now that I think of it, I think they actually share the same headlights. I might be mistaken, but... The, looking at the photographs, they look very similar. Maybe not, I don't know, these things are so expensive it would seem odd that they would share headlights. So, who knows. But they do look similar. Okay, well anyways, so you can see in the plan view, you know, how much bigger the four-door is, which is pretty logical. And uh, this white one, by the way, is made by Kyosho also. In fact, all these Bentleys are made by Kyosho. And here's a Mulzan which I believe is the top of the line Bentley. I went and added silver paint to these Kyoshos because Kyosho wouldn't do it themselves. Okay, so you can see the Mulzan is much bigger, which I guess it would be because it's the top of the line. In fact, actually, if you look at the wheelbase, look how much longer, right? The, the Mulzan is like half a wheel uh, longer, so this it's quite a land barge, a land yacht. Which makes me wonder, I know that Mini GT, you know, they have some Continental GT models, and they're pretty good for the price. I'm wondering if Mini GT will ever tackle the big sedans, because uh, Kyosho, these, these blister pack, I mean, these crystal box ones are just overpriced in my opinion. You're not getting much. I mean, honestly, the details of this aren't that far off from Mini GT. Mini GTs don't have silver paint on the mirrors either. They don't have disc brake systems either. Uh, and they don't have colorful interiors either. But you can get a Mini GT for less than half the price of one of these Kyosho uh, crystal box ones. So, uh, if anyone should ever you know, randomly hear from Kyosho or Mini GT, Mini GT, please make some sedans. In Kyosho, you need to either add some more details or reduce your prices. I think you're overpricing these things. Or these are old stock and maybe I just uh, paid the eBay inflated price, but who knows. Anyways, uh, in the end though, they're still pretty cool models. I'm, I'm really happy that I have all these Bentleys in my collection. And uh, they're definitely cool. So I just kind of, you know, wish they were a bit of a better value. Okay, well guys, if you like uh, Bentleys, uh, and who doesn't, this, this model might be worth picking up if you're into the big four-door sedans. Or, Well, anyways, hopefully I'll have another review of a Bentley sometime to come soon. Alright, thanks.